How to select the correct LED cooler for your Cree X-Lamp chip on board LED modules. In Mechatronics under the correct LED cooler, we understand the product which is at one side thermally compatible with your chip, what means that at the end you get the required temperature like you want, and on the other side mechanical compatible so that you don't have to do any drillings or tappings afterwards. Let's first look in the thermal aspects and therefore we are going to make a design example using a Cree X-Lamp CXA 1830 chip on board. With this module we are going to design a retail lamp of about 3000 lumen. If we look in the data sheets of Cree, we are, you can see that you can drive this module in various currents and we will drive it at 1050 milliamps at a forward voltage of 37 volts. This gives us uh, electrical power of 38.85 watts. Of course not all of this power is going to dissipation. There is an efficiency of about 30%. That means that 70% of the electrical power will be going to heat or dissipated power. So that gives us 27.2 watts. Second we look in the temperatures and we want to keep this module at the case temperature TC of 85 degrees Celsius. And we estimate an ambient temperature for our light design around 40 degrees Celsius. So the difference between those two, case temperature to ambient, gives us a DT temperature of 45 degrees. Now we put these two values in a simple formula and we divide the delta temperature, 45 degrees Celsius, divide by the dissipated power, 27.2 watts, and that gives us a needed thermal resistance RTH of 1.65 degrees Celsius per watt. From this value we deduct the interface resistance of the thermal interface material, which is in practical around 0.1 to 0.2 degrees Celsius per watt, so we get a needed thermal resistance of 1.45 degrees Celsius per watt for our LED cooler. Anything better than that will bring the temperature below the 85 degrees Celsius. With this value we are going to look in mechanical compatibility and therefore we go to our website led-heatsink.com. First we select the section of Cree X-Lamp and then in the criteria on the top we select the Cree X-Lamp CXA18 chip on board. Then we fill out the thermal resistance we have been calculating, so 1.45 degrees Celsius per watt, and we click on go. The results which appear now here below are all thermally and mechanically compatible. That means your TC temperature will stay below the 85 degrees Celsius we have specified, and all these LED coolers you can mount the chip on board 1830 by use of a Zagabook tree holder on the LED cooler. If you would require further assistance, of course, don't hesitate to contact us.